Damn, Dre, you wavy. You that nigga. Hey, y'all, what's good, man? Welcome to the channel. Now, check this out, y'all. I just woke up. Y'all know I always just wake up. Now, check this out, y'all. I feel like y'all been with me for so long. You feel me? Like, I've connected with y'all on a certain level that I could open up with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people out there is going through some things. You know, I know a lot of people out there want this, want that. You know, they're tired of living like this. They're tired of living like that. You know what I'm saying? They're tired of looking like this, looking like, you, know, you feel me? So I just want to open up to y'all real quick, all right? Now, I know it's a lot of unfortunate people out there. And what I mean by unfortunate, I mean by like, you know, you, you come from a, 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 a poor family. You know, you can't afford this. You can't afford that. You don't have money to get this. You know, you, your parents don't have this. You know what I'm saying? You don't have like your own room, this and that. You share your clothes. Now check this out, bro. You, if you going through that situation, you're not you're not the only one. You know what I'm saying? Um, me growing up, dog, it was terrible. It was terrible, man. When I was young, I was unfortunate. We were, I was poor. You feel me? We weren't homeless, but like we were poor. You feel me? Um, I. When you use the word homeless, like, how far do you take that, like, to where, like, you live on the streets? Is, is that what it is? Um, we, we, I wasn't homeless, you feel me? I didn't live on the streets, but um, we did live in, like, a one-bedroom crib. I got, bro, I got five brothers and one sister. That's seven of us, bro. Seven of us living in a one-bedroom crib, dude. Imagine... One bedroom cribs are small, you feel me? It's only one bedroom. And the only only people who slept in the bedroom was my mom and my sister. The rest of us, we slept in the living room, you feel me? So that's six boys, you know what I'm saying? In the living room while one girl slept in the room, you feel me? Um, that's how we were raised. So imagine coming to an apartment and you see, you know, seven kids and one mother. Bro, that's eight people in one bedroom. You know what I'm saying? That's how I grew up. You feel me? So, um, we lived in like a one bedroom apartment. Things got rough. We lived in shelters. You know what I'm saying? The shelter is free. You really don't pay anything for shelters. You work. I think you work there. I'm not sure. Um, I was a youngin. Only thing I remember is that, bro, living in a shelter was... You know, it was terrible because you, li you lived with other family. You lived with other people, other kids. You know what I'm saying? Um, you ate what everyone else ate. You feel me? You got up and ate at the same time as everyone else. You know what I'm saying? So, um, bro, I was, it was bad. Bro. I used to be homeless. You feel me? Um, and then growing up, I didn't have, you know, the Xboxes. I didn't have the PlayStation, the PSPs. You feel me? Bro. I didn't have any of that stuff. Like, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it came to school, I don't remember how school went, but I think we had like had to eat free lunches. Listen, if you guys are in school and you guys are eating free lunch from school, that's bro, that's cool. You feel me? You're not the only one on campus who's eating free lunch. Everyone, there's a there's a higher percentage of people who are eating free lunch on campus. You feel me? I was one of those people who ate free lunch because we were less fortunate, you feel me? I wore friends' clothes, I wore my brother's clothes. I mean, to this day, people wear each other's clothes, you feel me? It's like, it became normal now, you feel me? But, um, it just, um, I wore uh, people's, I wore friends' clothes, my brother's clothes, and people noticed it, you feel me? Like, bro, I was embarrassed. I didn't have, I didn't have the haircuts. I didn't get the haircuts, y'all. I had the afro, the nappy afro. You feel me? I didn't get the haircuts. I didn't have the nice shoes. I didn't have the best clothes. You feel me? Bro, I didn't have any of that stuff. You dig? So, me being so young, I always wondered how it felt to have these materialistic things. I didn't know at the time that you know, all this stuff is pointless. I didn't know that. I just wanted to know how it felt to have it. You feel me? I wanted to fit in so bad so bad and now that i got this stuff it really don't matter you feel me fitting in don't matter it really don't matter it just makes you 
be like everyone else instead of being yourself. So if you guys are, are young right now and you guys want certain kind of things just to fit in, don't because it's not gonna matter, bro. Like once you get it, you can be like, okay, cool. Like it's material things, you can rebuy it. You feel me? So um if 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 you can get a job, bro, get a job. Work that job. Go crazy. Grind it hard. You feel me? Don't miss no days. Don't call off. You feel me? Go to that job and go crazy, bro, because at the end of the day, you are not missing anything. When I first got my first job, y'all, I think it was at Amazon. Um, I was calling off, bro, just to hang out with friends. I was calling off just to go to parties, and I got fired. And then days and weeks and months go past and years go past, parties are still going. Those friends are still there, and I'm like, damn, bro, why did I, keep, why, why did I kept leaving my job when I could have just finished out my whole schedule and just did something on my off days? Because parties are still going. You feel me? Those same girls are still there. You dig? So, um, I got another job. I think I worked at Fry's. I was mopping, like I, I was sanitation, y'all. Like I was mopping. You feel me? You see how I was a youngin? And I wanted to do things, and I got older. I'm like, you know, I gotta get a job. I want this stuff. So I got a job. Got a Fry's. At, I got a job at Fry's, being sanitation. You know, mopping. You know, sweeping, cleaning up spilled aisles. You know, stuff like that. And I learned my lesson from my last job, bro. Like, my friends like, oh, let's go out. Let's do this. I'm like, no, nah, I'll pass, bro. I'll see y'all like on my off days. You know, every week my off days would change. I had like a, you know, a Tuesday off and a Saturday, or next week after that, I had like a Thursday, Friday, or a Monday, Tuesday. See how it switches? And my friends just kept hitting me. I'm like, yo, let's do this, let's do that. I'm like, nah, bro, I'll see y'all on my off days. You feel me? So all it is is you just gotta learn from mistakes. But um, once I started working there, bro, I started to buy the things that I wanted. And I'm like, you know, this, you know, I got a cool six dollar shirt. Okay, I got some cool two hundred dollar shoes. I got a, you know, some nice, you know, pants worth two hundred dollars. You feel me? Um, I started buying, you know, the Xboxes, the TVs, you know, just expensive stuff. I started to realize, like, yo, this is materialistic things. I can rebuy this stuff. So then my my mind started to expand more. I'm like, no, let me just stack this money. I started stacking money, stacking money, stacking money. Now I want to go to the next level, which move out. You feel me? To me, I feel like you gotta go through some type of hurt to get that motivation to not go through it. You feel me? So my whole message is to my whole message to you guys is if you guys are unfortunate and then when you get older and older, you're able to get a job, bro, go crazy. Work that job and go crazy, bro. Just go crazy. You feel me? Y'all see me, I'm always in the crib making videos. Y'all don't never see me nowhere else. Nowhere else. I'm always in the crib. I can easily go to, you know, a family member's house and make an entertaining video. I can go to a girl house and make an entertaining video. I can vlog with somebody, but I don't, bro. I don't because I don't like to miss out on, you know, working hard, you know, putting out videos for y'all. You feel me? I'd rather do this before I do that. I like to put work first before I put fun. You feel me? Um, but at the end of the day, bro. If, if you're less fortunate, you feel me? It's okay, but it's not okay to the point to where you gotta stay in that position. But it's okay for that for that time, you feel me? But when it's time, bro, and you can do, when you get to a certain age to do more, bro, take it and go crazy. Bro, go crazy, you feel me? Whoop it, like, bro, go crazy. You feel, put the boxing gloves in, go crazy, bro. You feel me? Um, if you guys are working and you want to save money, it all starts up here. It all starts up here, bro. You got to save money. You got to tell yourself, no, I can't. I got to save money. Feel me? Just talk to yourself and do it. You dig? So look where I'm at now, bro. I, when I was a young kid, I pictured this. I pictured having my own place. I pictured having, you know, a car. I pictured having money. You feel me? I pictured being able to live alone. You know, coming from living in a one bedroom crib, coming from living in a shelter. I picture this, bro. So what I did was I put my feet on the pedal, I grind and got to where I'm at. You feel me? At the end of the day, if you guys think like, oh, this could take a long time to get me here and here. That's cool because when that time comes, you're going to get there and you're going to appreciate it way more. And that's why I'm always in my crib a lot. 
because I appreciate this. That's why when you guys see me on Snapchat or Instagram, I'm, I'm always in the crib or in my car or showing off my haircut because I appreciate it. I never had this. You feel me? I never want to leave my crib because this is what I dreamed of having. You dig what I'm saying? That's why I always show you guys like my haircuts, bro. Because growing up, I didn't have haircuts. You feel me? That's why I always show my haircuts. You dig? I always show my car because I didn't have it. You feel what I'm saying? So, you guys go for every see me around the things that I always wanted because I'm grateful and I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go nowhere. You feel me? I want to stay where I'm. You, you feel me? I know you got to have fun. You dig what I'm saying? But this is the stuff that I appreciate. You feel me? So, at the end of the day, uh, if you're struggling, it's only temporary. All right. I went through it and it was hell. But you got to go through it just to you know break out of it to live the life you want so that's all i got you i just thought i'd share that with y'all that you know you weren't the only one you feel me i was homeless you did um if you're going through it it's cool for now but later on it's, it stops you feel me so make sure y'all stay on y'all grind do what y'all gotta do everything else can wait and you go get to where you need to be bro i promise thank y'all so much for watching as always your boy dre if you ain't brushing i'm brushing Peace. <laughs> For real. Y'all y'all grind it out, bro. Peace.